see you again in the Super Memory for Schools program. My name is Lee Than Ha, and today I will accompany you in 7th grade English program. Now, are you ready? Okay, look at the board. Today we are learning Unit 8, Places, Section B, at the Post Office. Today we are learning Unit 8, Section B, Unit 8, Places, Section B, at the Post Office. In this lesson, I want to convey to you two main parts. The first part is the new word, including nouns, adjectives, and verbs related to the topic of the lesson. The second part is the grammar. There are three sentence structures. The first sentence structure is the use of would like and the verb want. The second sentence structure is to use the verb need, the verb want, and the third sentence structure is asking and answering about prices. Now, look at the board. Now class, look at the board. What are these? Yes, they are envelopes. Envelope. Now listen and repeat. Envelope. Wow! The sales girl gives the change for a customer. Change. Now listen and repeat. Change. Look at them. They are local stamps. Local stamps. Look, what are these? They are phone cards. Okay, listen and repeat. Phone card. And these are writing pads. Writing pad. Now listen and repeat. Writing pad. I'll mail the letter to you tomorrow. I'll mail the letter to you tomorrow. Mail equals post verb. We use mail or post. Now, look at the picture. They are paying money in the counter. Pay is a verb. Now listen and repeat. Pay. She receives a nice gift from her father. The bookstore sells many different things. So, Sell is a verb. Now listen and repeat. Sell. I can travel overseas. So overseas is an adjective or an adverb. Now listen and repeat. Overseas. The envelope is 1,000 dong. Two stamps are 6,000 dong. And the total are 7,000 dong. So total... I have just taught you some new words related to the topic of the lesson. Repeat after me one more time. Envelope, change, local stamp, phone card, writing pad, mail, receive, pay, sell, overseas, total. The second part I want to teach you is grammar. The first sentence structure we use with would like or want. Would like slash want. So would like and want both mean. Now take a look at my example. I'd like to send this letter to the USA. Now after would like, I use to verb. I'd like to send this letter to the USA. And the second example. I want to send this letter to the USA. Now I use the verb want. And after want, I use to verb. I want to send this letter to the USA. Take a look at my example. She'd like some stamps. After would like, I use nouns. I would like 
some stamps. She wants some stamps. After want, using nouns. Would like slash want. This is the structure. S plus would like plus to infinitive slash noun. And would like can be written as comma D, like. The second sentence structure I want to teach you is how to use the verb need and the verb want. Need, want. Now, I need to go to Hanai capital. I use to verb after need, to go. I want to go to Hanoi capital. And I use to verb after want, to go. She needs some cakes. After need, I use the noun cakes. She wants some cakes. After want, I use the noun cakes. So, need, want. With the formula, subject plus need in bare form or add s, want in bare form or add s, plus to infinitive, to slash noun. Please notice. Now, the third sentence structure I want to teach you is the asking price structure. How much is a stamp? According to the amount here, we see how much it is. 3,000 dong. It's 3,000 dong. How much are these envelopes? Now look at this. They are 5,000 dong. So, to ask the price, you remember to use how much. We use how much with to be, is, to ask one thing. We use how much with to be are, to ask about many things. How much plus is slash are plus subject plus question mark. To answer, we use it is plus amount of money or they are plus amount of money. Thus, through this lesson, you will grasp two parts. The first part is new words related to the topic of the lesson, as I said above. The second part is the grammar, consisting of three sentence structures. The first sentence structure is how to use would like, want. The second sentence structure the use of need slash want. And the third sentence structure is the structure asking price and asking for one thing or asking for many things. I hope that through this lesson, our lesson ends here. I wish you all a very enjoyable and useful class. Goodbye, I'll see you in the next Super Memory for Schools program.